What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We about to look at how the universe is way bigger than you think. Honestly, when it comes to the universe, I didn't think there was a limit. So when they saying that it's bigger than what I think, if I already thought there was no, there was no limit, what's bigger than no limit? <clears throat> you guys remember that, uh, you guys remember the movie Men in Black where they were, he was pretty much talking about, you know, speck on earth. And then, uh, <laughs> he looked up and he found out that the whole entire galaxy or a galaxy within galaxy within universes was nothing but bigger, huger monsters, uh, marbles that they played with. That was very interesting. Right. And it also reminded me of, uh, if you guys watch the office, <clears throat> when Michael uh, Michael Scott went out to feed the birds and he was like, sometimes he feels like there's a tiny spaceman or something looking down on him, trying to figure out if he's feeling okay. <laughs> and he was like, I'm okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> like somebody peering in on our galaxy. But anyways, I'm way too much of you guys' time. This is already going to be a long video, so let's go ahead and get into it. Shut up and turn up. This is a real-life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. I like that product. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and <laughs> everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you wow. right now on average. Why does it look so you big? could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. What? Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. That's and crazy. if you wanted to communicate with somebody distance. back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. Wow. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That you know what? Space travel and all of the interstellar and all that type of stuff really, really interests me. Um, you guys know that game if you played it, uh, Mass Effect. Uh, when it came out with a Mass Effect Andromeda, a lot of people didn't like that game, but I liked it only because of all those little small little details you get to get. If you get to explore like what's seemingly a galaxy and find unknown planets and stuff like that. I like information like this. I think the reason why it's so alluring and why it's so attractive is because this isn't, I mean, unless you unless you had an interest in it, this isn't common knowledge. Like who who just knows about this on a whim unless you had a, like an interest in it. So I like this type of stuff. It's always going to interest you because space is just a great deal of mystery to most of the people on the planet from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction, which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which hmm. is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, cool. AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. When did they send At that out? At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. 
thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic I don't doctrines. Know much about Carl Sagan. Every hunter and every forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilizations, Oof. every king and every peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there. See, what's, what's super important, and I can see why he said this, is because in, re in, in perspective of things, to get you to understand how small we are in the vast space that is the universe, Compared to how far that is, the reason why he kept saying every day, every day, every day, because when you think about it, that's huge. That's a lot of things. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of stuff that's going on. And you mean to tell me out of all of that, we we're, we're right there in the whole space of the galaxy. And just this space alone, you could probably fit millions and millions of verse. I mean, it's just so much unknown out there. Okay. On a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. That's crazy. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there. So and space it wouldn't travel even exist still when you arrive. Out of the question. When we zoom out even further, we can see lifetime. the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, Show but me the what entire you got. galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region That's right crazy. here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and Universe. we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which what? the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. Come on, man. Y'all need to tell me, how do, how do we know this for a fact if... If the if the Voyager that we sent out still collecting information, right? How how is this known for a fact? How did they come up with this information? <laughs> zoom zoom back even further, and it is this. But if you zoom back even further, it's almost like that. Uh, what's the name of uh? What's the name of the guy with the uh, the OxyClean? But wait, there's more. <laughs> The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. 
the distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Okay. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is Even very we... likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable sextillion? universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and mm -hmm. that's a similar situation to this. Mm -hmm. We are all so that. unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. This video was made possible by Squarespace. If you're wanting to create... Bruh, I mean... First off, how do you find this information out? That's that's the number one thing. I mean, it's just a simple math. Somebody, I mean, how are they measuring this, right? The Voyager isn't that, its job, its responsibility is to collect things. Based off its distance from what I'm telling Earth, Earth was still a little bit visible. To go all the way out to that observable universe, you couldn't even see Earth. So it's just, just a matter of like, just, I'm guessing this was because of this information or just like information that they know. And I'm a little bit bummed out that I'm not gonna experience space travel or at least how I would like to experience space, space travel in this lifetime unless somebody invents some type of eternal gem um, or unless the show me what you got kind of aliens come through and uh, we can show them what we got. Little Rick and Morty reference there for those of you who watch it. <laughs> this was very interesting. Again, I think the biggest appeal or the biggest attraction for information like this is because so much of that information is unknown and it's so removed and it's not commonly talked about amongst the public. So anybody comes up and they can present it in a way that's easily digestible. Heck yeah, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be interested like crazy. You guys know those people who uh, made their own cameras and they shoot it up in space and then they go and collect the, uh, the, the camera once it falls back, uh, falls through orbit and back uh, to, the, to the earth. I think those videos are really, really cool, right? Because they got footage of our world some like like live footage and stuff that they created so i don't know what kind of laws that the uh that the u.s or that the world in general puts on when they're collecting space uh inf in video information about space but i wouldn't mind doing something like that i had my own personal you know footage of the earth something that i'm probably never going to see in my lifetime that's special right <laughs> all right y'all that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out